have very many different outcomes of, of however some outcomes for example the rat doing nothing are very common and whenever the rat does nothing you just say a and when the rat actually gets complete success and solves the, all the eight turns in the maze uh, at the first trial it's a very unlikely uh, outcome, so maybe you want to have a symbol that sounds like D, 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 A, F, and so on. Right? So from the probability distribution, define uh, derives the optimal code. So, why am I saying all that? Well, because suppose that the actual probability distribution looks something like this. And it's a very complicated object. Suppose that I don't want, I don't have enough data, I'm not inclined to actually estimate it. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to approximate it with a Gaussian. Now, I use the optimal code that would be, or I use the code that would be optimal for the Gaussian. So is that optimal for the real underlying distribution? No. How much do I lose? That's the kullback leibler divergence. So the kullback leibler divergence is a measure so from the information probability uh, theory point of view, what's a, what's a probability distribution? It's a way to encode data. And the school part library divergence is the loss that I incur when I mistake probability distribution G for probability distribution F. It's the price I pay for getting the probability distribution wrong. This may sound convoluted, but in the mindset of information theory, it's actually the right thing to do. And now, what's... So this thing has a formula, and the formula is this. So this is an expectation of this, the log of this ratio. But it's the expectation, important thing, taken by averaging on probability distribution f. Right? So when you take an expectation, you are averaging on some probability distribution, or use probability distribution f. And you can also see it as this. And this formula, even though Brown et al. don't say it, is saying exactly what I just told you. Why? Because the average number of bits that I need to encode a variable that is distributed according to probability distribution f this still the size means distributed according to is minus the expectation of the log of the If you have ever heard anything about formation theory, you may know that this thing is called entropy. <coughs> <coughs> so
So entropy is essentially the amount of information that you have in, an, in, a, in the outcome of a random variable. So let's say if you have a unfair coins that always gives you heads, then there is no information in the outcomes because it will always be heads. Okay? Even if nobody tell, uh, tells me what came out, it's going to be heads. In that case, information entropy is zero. So the, and so the entropy is the theoretical limit to how many bits I need to convey the information in this random variable via a communication channel to a receiver. So, so that's actually quite a kind of interest. So going back to the pullback library or for friends KL divergence, you see that the KL divergence is this mistaken coding length where I'm mistaking G for F minus the optimal coding length, which is the end. There's a minus sign. So this is a logarithm of the probability. Probabilities are always less than one. So this logarithm is negative. So to get the positive number of bits, you need the minus sign. Okay? So for logarithms of numbers smaller than one are negative. So, again, as it is the case, as I showed you before, there is an asymmetry when I do prediction for linear variables. There is an asymmetry here as well. So the distance, the discrepancy of f or divergence of f and g is different from the divergence of g. Non-symmetric. It's a non-symmetric hierarchy. So, so when they had the path of the mouse in the water maze, yeah, and they basically compare that to its previous aggregate path or something. No, 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 no. no, no, no. What they did was so there were two probability distributions. One, so this is the Richard, so we discussed that in the journal club, right? So you had the water maze, and in training, they actually used different positions for the platform. So that's one probability distribution. The other probability distribution is the probability is the dwelling distribution for the rat or mouse. But the difference in data and way of path is what you said, but path for beats, time, yeah. organized, instead they take a snapshot over mm -hmm. one yeah. And so they assumed that it would be optimal if the mouse, or rat, or whatever, mouse. Uh, mouse, visited each position proportional to the probability that the platform was there at three. Now, uh, whether that, from the mouse point of view, would be optimal or not, we may discuss. Mm -hmm. But then, so the, and then, so they measured the deviation from optimality with the KL divergence. So there, they're doing KL of the mouse yeah. versus the actual, yeah. not the other way around, because then you would get a yeah. different value. So it's mouse position distribution and platform position distribution. Mm -hmm. That's the. I mean, 
I'm not completely sure that if I was a mouse, I, that's what I would do. But uh, okay. So for normal distributions, these things become trivial. If you have two normal distributions. like that, and I want to know the KL divergence, and the KL divergence is just the difference of the means, <coughs> divided by the variance, or in the units of the variance, which actually it's a reasonable way to discuss uh, difference between two probability distribution because you would say that you would say, for example, that even if the difference of the means is the same, So these distributions are more similar than these distributions. So it does give a reasonable result. And now, let's look at something more interesting. Now, we're going to look at another We're going to look at another measure of statistical dependence. And the beauty of it, of it is that this one works even there, if there is no, if there is no linear relationship to speak of. If you have something like that, right? It's not, I mean, the best regression line would be flat. However, it's clear that there is a relationship between the values. So, what do you do? Well, we can say, what statistical dependence? Well, it's, it's non-independence. Or it's deviation from independence. Okay. Then, I know what the probability distribution is, uh, or would be, if these two variables were independent. That's the product of the single variable distribution that we call the marginals, right? Two variables, if the probability distribution of x and y is the product of a, pre, of a function of x and a, and, a, and a function of y, that means the two are independent. But then, I take the real probability distribution and measure the KL divergence from the independent approximation. Or to go back in information theory language, what's the price I pay to encode these probability, these variables as if they were independent? This thing is called mutual information. And that is used, for example, to assess the quality of place fields. Because I cannot use, as I said, it's not a linear relationship. Can't use uh, correlation coefficients. Can't use linear regression to do something. Question. So just in general, the, the divergence, is it like an absolute or relative interpretal value? So if is it like, oh, one is high or blah, blah, blah. So is it always, from how you calculate it, comparable? Yeah. Or let's look it at it, let's look at it from another point of view. So another definition, actually, so this 
mutual information is due to uh, was actually proposed by Shannon, Claude Shannon. So these were people that were active during World War II and they were mostly working for the military, the British and the American military and they were trying to decode uh, the enemy's uh, secret messages mm -hmm. and they were trying to optimize uh, radar communication and all this stuff. Right? So they, and so they were thinking in terms of communication channels and this kind of things. So let's think for a moment. Suppose that you have two probability distribution. One is like that. And one is like that. So which one has the largest entropy? Or which one contains more information? The flatter one or the peaky one? Huh? Isn't it, it, wouldn't it the question compared to what? So which one, which one, okay, let, let's say it in a different way. Which one of this distribution has the outcome that are le, uh, least boring? <laughs> Huh? The flat one, right? So that means that that means the it's just the variance. Huh? Just the variance. Yes. Well, in this case, in this case, yes. But you might have cases in which, and you can have discrete cases. For example, suppose that you have two histograms. You have distribution, so which, suppose you have a die, and this is a fair die, and this is a rigged die. And this rig die only gives you one or two. So which one is which one is more interesting? This one, right? This one you will you need six symbols to communicate the results, and here you only need two. So okay. Now Suppose that now I have two variables, x and y, and let's say that this is the position of a rat on a linear track. And before I know anything, the rat can be anywhere. So I make a flat probability. Well, then I know that a certain cell fires. And that cell has a place field around here. So that means that if I know that that cell has just fired, our uh, probability distribution probably doesn't look any more like that, but it looks like that. This is the probability of x given y, where y is a variable encoding the fact that the neuron has fired or hasn't fired. So now, with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of mathematical looseness that you will forgive me, I will define probability distribution as a reduction. Hey, 
just quickly, I would say, so in three minutes, uh, in the yeah, I, I just finished. Okay, good. Yeah. Just one I'm not sure how where you. Yeah, yeah, we have to start uh, yeah. uh, as a reduction in entropy. So this is the entropy. So the amount of information in the full probability distribution, and this is the probability, the entropy of the probability distribution conditional on y. So basically. I reduce the uncertainty in x by knowing the value of y. And the reduction of uncertainty gives you the mutual information. So information, so you can, you can say how informative x or y is with the uh, with respect to x by saying, okay, by how much I reduce uncertainty on x if I know y. Okay, with that we stop because we have to go back to the interviews. And... No, we still have one more journey, one more. Hmm? But then next Friday there is no... No mm -hmm. journal club, no debrief, no nothing. Next Friday, where are we? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not here. Yeah, Friday's train day. I'll take a train somewhere. Yeah. So now you can all sleep and digest. <laughs> <laughs>